Every year, over 250 million turkeys are raised and processed across the United States, feeding a nation where turkey has become a cultural icon. During Thanksgiving alone, Americans consume nearly 46 million turkeys in a single week. With demand peaking during holiday seasons, these systems operate around the clock to serve millions of families. Step inside one of the most sophisticated food chains on Earth, Across many states in the United States, free-range turkey farming is increasingly gaining attention. Flocks of turkeys roam freely on pastures, enjoying fresh air, sunshine, and natural feed sources. This model helps turkeys build strong immunity, reduces the need for antibiotics, and results in higher quality, more flavorful meat. During Thanksgiving week alone, as many as 46 million turkeys are consumed. To meet this enormous demand, turkey breeding farms focus on high quality breeding stock. On average, a female turkey can lay about 100, 120 eggs per season. The turkey nest system uses a sloped floor design that gently rolls the eggs into collection trays, minimizing breakage and reducing the risk of contamination by up to 95% compared to manual collection. In modern industrial incubation systems, the average hatch rate can reach 85-90%. Eggs are incubated in strictly controlled temperature and humidity environments. After 28 days, healthy turkey poults are screened, vaccinated against Newcastle disease and infectious bronchitis, and then brooded under heating lamps at 32, 34 degrees Celsius. Each year, this industry raises more than 250 million commercial turkeys in the U.S. At around four or six weeks of age, the poults enter the grower stage, reaching a weight of 1.52 kilograms. At this stage, stocking density is reduced to about 4-5 birds per square meter to prevent feather pecking and stress, while 24 sevenths automated ventilation systems ensure healthy respiratory conditions. Feed containing up to 24% crude protein is provided to support rapid skeletal and muscle development, preparing them for the final fattening phase. In the finishing stage, market turkeys are raised in farms with flock sizes ranging from 5,000 to 50,000 birds, using automated feeding systems with precise rations. Each bird consumes an average of 9-12 kilograms of feed throughout its lifetime. After completing a growing cycle of 16 to 20 weeks, healthy market weight turkeys are transported from the farms to modern slaughterhouses. When they arrive at the receiving area, the turkeys are hung on an automated line using secure leg or wing shackles. This process is fast and efficient, with large plants able to handle 2,000 to 3,000 birds per hour in continuous operation. Inside the plant, the processing line is optimally designed, combining precise mechanical equipment with smart control systems, from stunning, bleeding, and scalding to feather removal and part separation. 
the entire process is fully enclosed and carefully monitored to meet USDA standards for temperature, humidity, and hygiene. These facilities process millions of turkeys each year to meet the enormous demand during holiday seasons. With a daily capacity of tens of thousands of birds, turkey processing plants in the United States are leading the world in automation, productivity, and food safety, becoming a model for many countries looking to develop a sustainable poultry industry. Next, the turkey legs are sent through a leg processor, which separates the thigh and the drumstick with high precision. After that, the drum thigh separator further divides the upper thigh and the lower drumstick to meet diverse consumer demands. Finally, the thigh deboner removes the bones from the thigh, leaving only clean thigh meat for processing into products such as sliced meat, ground turkey, or ready-to-eat meals. A handful of walnuts a day can improve heart health, lower cholesterol, and even support memory. But why is it that some walnuts are golden, crisp, and flavorful, while others appear dark, bitter, and unappetizing? The difference lies in the production process itself. In today's video, we'll explore the high-quality walnut production process where every detail makes a difference. Every autumn, from mid-September to early November, huge walnut orchards in California begin their harvest season. But before these big trees grow in the fields, farmers place walnut seeds in moist soil to help them sprout. After a few weeks, small plants grow and are carefully looked after in trays with rich soil. When the young trees are strong enough, they are moved out and planted in the fields to grow into full walnut trees. With over 400,000 acres under cultivation, California's annual production of raw walnuts reaches more than 680,000 tons. When harvest season arrives, the clearest sign that the walnuts are ready is when the outer green husk known as the hull begins to split or separate from the hard inner shell. Instead of hand harvesting as in traditional methods, the entire process today is fully mechanized. The first step involves the use of mechanical tree shakers specialized machines equipped with powerful hydraulic arms wrapped in padded rubber. These arms gently grip the trunk of the tree without damaging the bark. When activated, the machine generates strong vibrations at a frequency of around 200 to 250 shakes per minute, 
lasting for 5 to 10 seconds. This causes the ripe walnuts to fall en masse to the ground. Once the walnuts have fallen, a sweeper moves in. This machine uses a rotating drum with soft brushes combined with a low-pressure air system to gather the walnuts into neat windrows between the tree rows. Debris such as dry leaves, twigs, and dust are pushed aside. On average, one sweeper can handle between 20 and 40 acres per day, depending on the terrain. Next comes the harvester or pickup machine. It is equipped with a conveyor system that lifts the walnuts from the ground and transports them to a primary sorting unit. Here, a centrifugal fan blows away light debris like leaves and dust, keeping only the walnuts for further processing. Immediately after being collected, the walnuts are transported to the first processing facility, usually located near the orchards, to ensure the nuts are handled within 24 hours of falling. Here, the walnuts are fed into a hulling machine a mechanical system that uses rollers and high-pressure water jets to strip away the green outer husk surrounding the shell. Then they go through another round of sorting using vibrating screens and an airstream system to remove empty or damaged nuts. Next, the qualified in-shell walnuts are transferred to an industrial drying system. This step is crucial as it reduces the moisture content inside the nuts from around 30-35% to below 8%. The drying process usually takes 18 to 24 hours, using a steady flow of hot air and carefully controlled temperatures. After drying, the walnuts are cooled, packed into large bins, and loaded onto sealed containers for transport to a second processing facility. Upon arrival at this second plant, the in-shell walnuts are placed in large storage warehouses equipped with modern cooling systems and precise humidity control. The storage environment is maintained at a temperature of around 0.5 degrees Celsius, allowing the walnuts to be preserved for 6 to 12 months while retaining their crisp texture, aroma, and natural kernel color. After being transported to the processing facility, the entire batch of walnuts is sorted into two main categories, in, shell walnuts, and shelled walnuts. For in-shell walnuts, the nuts are first passed through a rotating drum sizer, which uses holes of various diameters to separate the nuts based on their size. After sizing, the walnuts are washed again with clean water. Then, Workers manually inspect the nuts to remove any that are cracked, shriveled, or show signs of pest damage. The qualified nuts are then packed into sacks, ready for export to markets around the world.
Meanwhile, the walnuts that are meant to be shelled go through a more detailed process. First, they are sorted by size using a V-shaped roller system, which separates the nuts based on how big they are. Then, they go into mechanical cracking machines with rotating cylinders that apply just the right amount of pressure to crack the hard shell without breaking the kernel inside. Before packaging, workers do a final hand inspection to make sure only good-looking, golden-colored, undamaged kernels go to the packaging line. The finished products are sealed in vacuum or airtight bags to keep them crispy and fresh during shipping. <laughs>